First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who can make it today. Yes, the rumors are true. I am no longer vegan. <laughs> hey, this guy stinks! Oh, come on, mate, really? Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, hear me out. This video is gonna be a bit polarizing, I guess. You know, some people are gonna agree with me at the start of it and not agree with me at the end of it and vice versa. But this is my personal experience. So, I guess I just ask you to watch this video with an open mind and yeah, let's get into it. So I thought I'd start this video with, I guess, explaining the start of it all. Why I went vegan. It did kind of start off with when I was 12, I cut out all fast food joints, you know, McDonald's, KFC, the lot. Every year I was trying to like one up it, progressing to new health heights. When I turned 14, I'm gonna cut out processed foods. Started avoiding sugar. When I turned 16, I cut out all dairy. And then when I was 18, hmm, what else could I do? Uh, what's that vegan thing like, you know? I just started to like research little things like meat carcinogenic, it causes cancer. Apparently. Chicken pumped with hormones. You start seeing <laughs> clips of animals getting slaughtered and just all this stuff that you're just like, this is messed up. Why are we eating animals? Kind of disgusting. It's a bit chat. There was also an episode of The Walking Dead where there was cannibals. They were eating human meat and it just looked like meat that we eat. Actually, you know, it probably was for TV show purposes. That was, yeah, it probably was. But it just, it just grossed me out. I think that was I think that was the main thing that pushed me over. And yeah, I guess this was the the next step into my health journey. So yeah, went vegan, asked vegan friends, oh, what do you eat? And they mentioned tempeh. And then you try tempeh and you're like, wow, this tastes like ass. <laughs> um, not eating that again, but you find foods that you do like. You find a cafe that is all vegan and the food is amazing. You're like, wow, it's possible. This, there's so many foods out there that I would have never tried because I was just always eating meat and chicken and stuff. Then you download Tinder and then you change your bio to, you know, I eat plants and then you meet a vegan chick and then you lose your virginity and it's, it, it's all going well. But when I went vegan, it's also the time that I started properly training. I just got into the gym. I just started doing calisthenics, body weight training and also ninja obstacle course kind of training. Noticing some good results within myself and it's pretty cool I'm doing it while vegan. I felt like I was kind of debunking the myth that you had to be eating meat to be like strong and fit. A year later, I got onto Ninja Warrior. I did have the vegan title. Felt like a bit of a, a role model being super fit and strong while being vegan and not, you know, killing animals. And I guess that's why I was vegan longer than I should have been because I was starting to notice issues. So after a couple few years being vegan, I just noticed everyone around me who was vegan, you know, friends, clients, anyone, they always had issues. There was always something to do with their gut or they were just so malnourished. You can see in their face, pale, red eyes, super skinny, just having problems with temperature, always feeling cold or just, I don't know, just little things things that you're just like, what the, am I the only vegan that's healthy? And the answer was no. I was starting to notice problems myself. The first time I noticed it was during a kind of hit workout where it was heaps of explosive moves without much rest. And I couldn't even complete it. Halfway through, I had to go outside and just rest because I was feeling very lightheaded. And at the time, all I thought it was that I was unfit, maybe I was dehydrated, or I just hadn't eaten enough food. And after that, I went, well, I'm never gonna do that kind of workout again. But eventually it came to the point where I was doing Ninja Warrior course testing, where I had to do a full complete course run for the semi-finals and grand finals. It's a pretty long course and it's a lot of explosive movement. So it got to the halfway point where I was like, oh man, I kind of like, my head hurts so much. But you know, the producers are all there, all the camera demos are like following you. So you're just like, well, I've, I've got to keep going, right? I get to the end and I literally can't even open my eyes, but there's one more obstacle to go. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm climbing this rope. I just get to the top, I complete it. Everyone's just clapping their hands. Then when they see me, they stop clapping their hands. They're like, whoa, he looks dead. How I looked and it's how I felt. People were saying I was really pale on the face. Eyes were very red. I couldn't even open my eyes. I was just, I just had to sit down for a while. People were giving me food and water and it took me a good solid 10 minutes to feel kind of slightly normal again. It was at, until that point where I was like, something's up. Maybe it's to do with being vegan. <laughs> I have more iron in me than the meat that you crave. I guess I was just being a bit stubborn. So after that little episode, I got my bloods checked 
and it was iron that was my problem. The iron levels are meant to be from here to here and I wasn't even at the low point of that. It was just not even in the bracket. It was so low. All right, this is a bit odd. I'm low in iron. I eat plenty of vegan based iron, but I'm somehow low in iron. One of my nurse friends, she's like, Matt, just eat meat for a month. Just, just do it. No questions, just do it for a month. Cause I was always so hesitant. She would be telling me about this for, for years. I'd be like, no, 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 it's fine. Apparently having more vitamin C helps with the absorption and I'll do that. And I don't know, just, Little things that I would mention and, but my friend would just be like, no, just eat meat for one month and see if that helps. And I did. I started with fish, although it doesn't have the same iron as red meat, I needed something to transition to because it was so hard to eat an animal after five years. It's just like, oh, like this is so wrong. <laughs> so I started with salmon, eventually, I started to enjoy salmon, which was pretty cool. I was like, oh, this is quite nice. I remember this. <laughs> then I transitioned to eating meat in like a burger. So it was kind of like hidden with all the, you know, the breads and lettuce, tomato and whatnot. The start for the first couple of weeks, pretty hard. Like it was just, it was just felt so wrong and felt, I didn't, actually, I didn't actually enjoy the taste of it. Then, you know, chicken came into play. Chicken was very hard to eat because you just see all those tendons and you, you just see more of it. Like you're like, this is, this is definitely an animal. And it's just, yeah, this it was just hard. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, after eating meat and stuff for a month, I would trial it with a endurancey workout and I felt pretty good. I remember waiting for the lightheadedness and it, wasn't there it was there a tiny bit but it it was it was pretty good all right let's keep doing it after a couple of weeks i feel great i just had a workout i feel like i'm gassed because i never reached that point of being tired it was always just all oh, lightheadedness which i thought was me being tired but it wasn't <laughs> if that makes any sense and yeah i got my bloods checked again iron levels were where they should be boom this 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 is it i i just i just have to eat meat <laughs> i also started to notice other benefits my strength in training just doubled i felt like all my exploit like i me personally i've got quite explosive power but i just felt like i had more which i didn't think was possible i was already so elite <laughs> no things that i was doing just felt so much better so much more cleaner my muscles didn't take as long to recover or i wasn't getting like strains or issues in joints things just weren't going wrong as much as they were before once again like this is kind of all subjective but i truly felt so much better it's gone on the floor this shit on the floor so frustrating because you know probably too much information but i was also having gut issues with my body where i wasn't having a you know solid poo <laughs> you know something which i never had issues with when i was eating meat everything was always okay it was only until i went vegan and you see on instagram posts about oh you need to have a freaking kombucha or some shit to to try make your gut good but then you find out once you've been eating meat oh what's gonna actually help your gut health is having more collagen eating meat bone broth having liver supplements just those kind of things was like the real fix and my gut's been fine, you know? No more soy. F fuck soy. Soy is shit. <laughs> Even now, if I have one soy milk, whatever, or tofu, my gut is, is ruined again. And I, this, is, this was a diet that I was having for, for years. Yeah, yeah, that was a bit, a bit of a vent there. <laughs> All right, we're back in the office. I just wanted to conclude the video with a reminder saying like this video is subjective. This is my personal experience. I know people, I know, I've, chick she's vegan she has too much iron in her body and females you know, it's, it's hard for females to retain iron in their body my boss has been raw vegan for 20 years and he's one of the most strong and elite 50 year olds that i know everyone's different and that's why i implore you to do your own research find things that go against and for your opinion don't fall into confirmation bias try it on yourself do something for a week or two see how you feel get your bloods checked happy days. There's just so much information out there on the internet. It is hard to find what is right, what is wrong, and that's why you just got to try it on yourself. And yeah, if you have your own personal experience, maybe you can comment below. I'm sure there'll be a nice friendly discussion in the comment section. So thanks for watching the video. Peace. Yeah, that was good. Hey, this guy stinks. That was alright.
Really? Come on. Your mum. First of all, thank you everyone who could make it today. Uh, your mum. First of all, thank you to all. Your mum. To you all? To me? Oh, you're Thank you everyone who watched your mum. That this is your mum? What do I say for this? And if you have your own and if, and if you have and if you're oh, I'm panicking now. Fuck it out. I'm sweaty, it's hot, and I've got these lights, and I'm panicking. And uh, alright. Video with, you know. This is video. This I, I'm done with English. I can't, I can't speak. And the first year going vegan is pretty good. You know, download Tinder. I mean, my bio. Uh, you know, something about eating plants. Got a match. Had sex. That <laughs> was good. It was good. Good start. Went vegan first year. Discovered tempeh and discovered that tempeh is shit. And then I stopped eating tempeh. And <laughs> how's that for a starting point?